Saints. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Saints. Saints. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. All right. Saints. Saints. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Saints. You might think this is some off the wall music, but I'm about to show you how the kingdom of God do it. Christ like. It's that wall music. Buzzing up the track, putting Holy Ghost through it. A man on fire, you don't need no lighter fluid. Cause the word of God all up in the grill, barbecuing. Smoking, ain't no joking. Cause I've been in that word, marinating and soaking. Been in the cut, now I'm out here in the open. Standing on the word like a man of God choking. <laughs> I got my eyes wide open, but I see God's vision, so I guess I'm by focal. And me no speak Espanol, but I am mucho loco about Jesus Christos. I'm out the box, I'm out the chain, I'm about everything. I'm in the building to the ceiling like a ceiling fan. Out of my mind. I'm out of my mind. I'm out of my mind. I'm out of my mind. You know, hey, you know, hey, because I, I, I'm a holy saint, holy saint, holy saint. I'm holy. y'all in here today man welcome to real talk it's your boy Carlos Vaughn man and I'm glad to be here today it's an awesome day man we about to have real talk in here today man I'm so excited about this so I'm your host Carlos Vaughn the founder and CEO of Christ Like Music and Ministry and today, man, it's Real Talk with Carlos Vaughn. And we about to go in. So, let's get to it, man. I ain't gonna hold you no longer, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta do this thing today, man, you know, so. We gonna get in here, we gonna make it happen. I got a special guest in here today. And, man, I, I'm so excited about this, you know, because Real Talk, and the thing is about consistency and staying consistent with this thing and doing this. Okay, what I wanted what I wanted to start this day off with, man, I would like to wish my mother a happy heavenly birthday, you know, because uh, today is my mom's birthday, September the 29th. Uh, my birthday is on tomorrow, September the 30th, and it's just a special thing, you know. I mean, her birthday is the day before mine, and that was just a big thing with us, you know. It was, that was just our little thing, and so... Uh, I had plans today to uh, to go and do a lot, you know, uh, in in honor of my of my mother, and I just want to take the time to to honor uh, and acknowledge uh, this day because this is a her um, her birthday. You know, it would have been uh, talked to my sister; she would have been sixty six, I think, maybe sixty six years old. And so, man, it's it's just a blessing. You know that I'm I'm still here, you know, uh, to be able to to uh, to share those things that she left behind, that she left with me, uh, and to be a blessing in this earth. But we are uh, we gonna get down to it today, man. Real talk, back. Like I said, man, uh, your boy be making that big one tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? At four fifth, you know. So. Uh, you know, throw some shots out or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just happy that I'm here today, man. And I have a special guest in here today on Real Talk. I got my man, uh, Wisdom Adakima. It's a real good friend of mine, man. And we got a topic that we're gonna talk about today, man. 
And we hope that you enjoy this topic because it's going to be super, super awesome, man. It's much needed with real talk. Uh, so we're going to get down to it, man. You know, I, I got I got him up in here, man. So we just going to get to it. We're going we gonna, to we gonna get this thing cracking. So uh, I got uh, my man, Wisdom, in here, man. And so we're going we gonna to have some real talk right now, man. Let me get you pulled in up here man so so we can do this how we supposed to do it you know what i'm saying and i'll let you give yourself you know i'll give you a form and introduction and i'll let you introduce yourself and uh you know everything that uh that we're trying to do or, or that you want to talk about really so uh man honored to have your own own uh real talk uh glad that you made it in man we hope that this we got this audio thing down pat, you know what I'm saying? So we can we can get started on on this topic in here today. So uh man, we we we're going to uh, get down to the meat of it. Real talk Real with talk. your boy Carlos Vaughn, man, you know. So uh let me see. It's, it's the wisdom. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 man. We we're just I was just trying to make sure you was in the building, man. Let me get you let me get you in the building for real. So <laughs> so uh, now I got you in the building, man, you know. So I uh I'm going to introduce you, man, you know, and we we'll get down to the real talk, man. Ladies and gentlemen, man, I'm looking like you might have to adjust your the camera a little bit so we can see a little bit more of you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got we got you in the building now. So, uh, man, this is Mr. Wisdom Adekima, man. This is a, a brother of mine, man, real good friend of mine in the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And, man, we we chopped it up, got me in the prayer mode at a point in time in my life, man, where I ain't never knew that I could pray that much in my life, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, we went deep for that. We yeah. went deep a couple now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. We had to take some breaks to get back at it. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, this is an awesome brother in the Lord. And uh, I brought him in today on uh, Real Talk. So we can just have some real talk. And today's topic, man, and, it, you know, it may range. You know, it may, may uh, we may get into other modes and it may just switch up on us, you know. But right now. We're talking about what is being social uh, in, in, in this, this dispensation of time because we have, uh, this was something that came to my mind. We got so many things that uh, that's identifies itself as being social to, it's to the point where this generation doesn't even know what it means to be social. Like you have your social security number, you got social media, you have social distancing now. And so with all of this social, this word being thrown around like this, a person, you know, this generation don't even know what it means to, to really socialize, to really just actually communicate amongst one another. You know what I'm saying? Their idea of communication and uh, is a, a text message, a uh, post, and so and so now you are uh, you socializing. So, uh, man, I just want to get your take on it, man. What is being social, and 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 you know how how are we communicating? Before I get into being social, I just like to say, God bless everybody who's tuning in all over the world. I know we're living in some very trying times. Come on. Where normally during trying times, the community comes together. It normally pulls the society and the community together. Mm. And in, in some places it has, in a lot of areas, it just further divided us even more. Mm. We have a whole lot going on all over the world. And wherever you at, I might not be there. I just want to let you know, don't give up. Don't give up. Yeah. Keep pushing. Yeah. God bless you. And I'm praying for you. That's it, man. 
So man, but um, we're here to talk about real talk and what does it mean to be social. Yeah, we could talk about what it means to be social in a fake yeah. way. Yeah, and we could talk about what it means to be social in a real way. But since this is real talk, come on. I just want everybody to know everywhere there's real talk, there's fake talk. Yeah. Everybody heard the saying, you can't handle the truth. Huh. Some of us don't want no real talk about what it means to be social. We want to fake talk about it. Come on. Because we don't really want to really get down, nitty gritty, and tackle the elephants in the closets. Mm. Hmm. But here at Real Talk, that's what we're here to do. Come on. Come on, man. The first thing I'd like to mention is if we go back to the dictionary, social comes from society, the aggregate of people living together in a more or less ordered community. Hmm. So the word community comes up. Come on. There's a lot of different ways we could go about it. There's a lot of different points. I'd like to quote my brother Lionel. There is no finish line. I'm sorry. If we think we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> there are some problems that you need an eternity to solve. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Soon as you think you got to the finish line is when you find out you just actually got to the starting line. Right. But at the same time, it's our job to tackle it nonetheless and do the best we can and give God the rest. Yeah. That's it. So there's a lot of different holes and different rabbit holes and different directions we could go about defining what is social, but I like the word community. It The other definition it has is an organization or club formed for a particular purpose or activity. Mm. We have different types of definitions and societies out there. Social media, that's an organization. That's a group. They got different groups mm. vying for us to join or for us to be a part of. Right, right. And see, man, we were talking about earlier uh, about the communication or, or the communion, and and you was like the, uh, the upper class doesn't really communicate with the lower class, you know. So it's like the separation. And in the year of twenty twenty, you know, it's like all these declarations of twenty twenty vision. It seemed like. Division presented itself, mm. and so it's it's just crazy. Like it 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 really stuck its head up in the year of twenty twenty, where you know it's like all of these divides, and and um man, it was a a, a revelation I got about the the division, about um having a remainder. You know what I'm saying? And, you know when you're doing mm-hmm. mathematics. You know, you got a remainder, man. And so it's a remnant of people uh, that I believe, man, that's, that, that's in communion and, and, and keeping the communication, man. You know, because, man, there's so many things that's, that's distracting, bro. And it presents mm. itself like, like it's, it, you're socializing and, and, and you're really not, you know. So it's like, who's communicating to us? You know, we're we supposed to have an ear to hear mm. We have the Holy Spirit in us. You know what I'm saying? But man, it got so many things communicating to us on a daily mm. basis, man. Man, man, wisdom. I see how my son, bro, a commercial on TV can play so many times till he just instantly memorized. You know? Mm. And that's communicating to him. So what what how do we intercept or how do we impact because that the influence of communication man in the world is is here so what could we do as a community of believers as we said they got many things really vying for our attention god wants our attention uh-huh. mm. the devil also wants our attention and as I said about the community, we could also look at another key word that correlates real strongly with it. There's community, there's communication, and 
even in war, one of the first tactics that they do when they attack the enemy is they take over the communication. Wow. Disrupt the enemy's communication. Wow. So we, we got community. So I'd like to actually bring up two key words. Confusion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and media. Wow. Which is communi- we all in social and communication. Mm-hmm. So the first thing they want to do is they want to and you know what's so funny? Mm. Satan is the author of what? Confusion. Confusion. Yeah. Mm. Come on. So his goal is to disrupt communication. Wow. Wow. And he is so good at it. Even if I like to always go back to the beginning. He told Eve, did God really tell you not to eat that fruit? Mm. He was causing confusion in the communication she heard from the Lord. Wow. Wow. And you know what? Jesus was really good at fighting it because every time he tried to confuse the word, he always replied back with, it is written. (laughs) Right. So all this is, meaning there's a, there's a right way to communicate. Mm. And there's also a wrong way to communicate. Mm. There's real talk Mm. and there's fake talk. So you need to be able to recognize when somebody's coming towards you with fake talk because fake talk disrupts real talk. Wow. Hey, man. Say, bro. Say, man. So the enemy is, is disrupting our communication, our communion, you know, with, with, with God. Wow. Since with, the beginning. Uh, since the beginning, and it's even more so now. He's disrupting it with all kinds of manners of junk. Wow. Wow. He, nice. wants, he doesn't want us to tap into the original, mm. so he creates counterfeits that's like it, but not it. Man. What's her name was thirsty? Jesus said, I'll give you living water. <laughs> right. Water where you won't thirst no more because that fake counterfeit that the enemy gave you, that ain't it. Mm. Is, 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 you're going to be thirsty again. Gonna be thirsty again. Wow. Amen. Only God is the original and only God can satisfy. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's why it says the blessings of the Lord are without sorrow. Everything else, it might be shiny and it looks like gold, but it's actually fool's gold or fake gold. Mm-hmm. And normally by the time you find out that you, you don't tapped into the wrong source, it's too late. It's killing you. It's killing you. Wow. That's crazy. So we, we, gotta be, we, we actually got to be picky eaters. We got to be very picky mm-hmm. what we take in on a daily basis, what we tune into, and we need to begin to question it because it's vying for our attention, it's vying for our mind. Am I hearing real talk? Am I hearing fake talk that's going to kill me? Mm. Because the enemy can't duplicate God. His goal is to put out as many counterfeit as possible, whatever it takes to distract us, and confuse us and tap into something that we're not supposed to be tapping into. Mm, mm, mm. Man, that's crazy, bro. And and when you when you sit there and you look at it, man, and you look at it, bro, you know, it's 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 uh it's all uh, the communication, you know, with community. I see the word unity in that mm. word too. You know what I'm saying? And with communion, you have union. And so, man, it's, it's like, bro, you see it. And, and that's why we have this real talk, man. It's just to, you know, to open up our eyes, to refresh us on, on some of these things that God has really been showing us since we, we've been in, in, in communion with him. And, and so, bro, when I look at the... Uh, 
the strategies that it's so many, so many distractions, man. I remember a time, mm, mm, mm. man, with, with even with TV and radio, bro, you know, our we supposed to guard these uh, ear gates, eyes, you know, with things that we see, man. I, I remember one time, bro, we was at a, at a friend's house of mine, bro, we was watching this movie. And we, it was just a, a function there. And man, I remember you getting up. You was like, man, I got to go wash my face. I can't watch this because I can't allow the Holy Spirit to see this. And I said, man, bro. I was like, bro. Because, you know, like even with Lionel sometimes, but like I say, man, I, I talk with you, man. And sometimes, man, you get to snorkeling and go scuba diving. And I'm like, man, look. <laughs> I'm just stroking on the top right now, you know, but it's always good. Every time we get together, man, it's, it's iron sharp and iron. And man, I know it was a lot of things that, that you, you shared with me in the past, you know, man. And, uh, you know, just, just share with the, with the listeners, man, like your, you know, your origin and, 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 and some things that you have going on right now, man. Sure, I will. I like to at least say this part. I was watching your first um, episode of Real Talk, and something you said just struck with me, and I've been chewing it like a cow chewing cud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a picky eater, yeah. So I don't eat a lot of stuff, but when I find something real good, I mm -hmm. stay on it. I, I oh, that was good. Let me try that again. Yeah. So I, I you said we need to take the airwaves. Come on, man. Which, as I said again, in combat, that's the first thing the military do. They take the air. They take the communications. Wow. The reason is because whoever controls the air normally controls the battle. Whoever controls the communication normally is going to win the battle. And right now, the reason why I said this is very important and I believe it's the right direction and where we need to head to is because there is so much bad junk out there. Mm. and not enough good real talk. There's so much fake talk out there, Come on. and we don't have enough real talk out there. Mm. It, it, it changes the entire mindset of the community. Perfect example. What does it mean to be a man? Mm. Mm. That has changed over the years. Man, has if it. we don't define what it means to be a man, the enemy will define what it means to be a man. But if he's the only one out there promoting, he's the only one out there taking over the airwaves, he's the only one out there talking, and nobody's actually correcting him and rebuttaling, re rebutting what he's saying with real talk, everybody or the majority is going to begin to gravitate and believe whatever he tells them. That's crazy. Hey, man. So, as you said, we need to take over the airs. We need more real talk. We need Christians to. need to quit hiding in the closet. They need to come out the closet. Come on, for man. Every, for every one video of fake talk out there, we need a million videos of real talk out there. Real Because right now, it's opposite. We're not yeah. taking over the airwaves. And we're complaining about it, but nobody's out there actually doing something about it. Come on, man. Come on. We can't. Uh, we we are in a war, and we're undermining or underestimating the power of communication wow. by letting him take the airwaves. And we need to come back, step back up, and take over the airwaves. If we don't like where it's going, we need to take control of it. Mm. So so it's it's almost like as the as the community, as the body of of, of believers, man, we really not. Uh, well, I, I could say communicating like we should. We're not in the, you know, the same vein of communication that as most. Some, some, you know, you got your mega churches. You got a lot of people that are on different platforms and, and they do a lot. But as far as the, uh, 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 you know, matching up, you know, because I looked at it sometimes with myself, you know, as far as like, man, you try to match up. But the thing is, it's like it's not even about matching up. It's just being consistent and and putting it out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because for a long time, I looked at it like, man, I don't match up. But at the same time, I talked uh, in an earlier um, 
post and, and, and are live about the manna, you know, because it's like manna is fresh. It's this rhema, you know, it's for mm -hmm. right now. And God's been giving mm -hmm. us that through people. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people have manna right now, something that's needed right now. And they're not, um, they're not giving it, you know, uh, whether it's through the communication or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? And so we got to we got to get it out there, man. Just like I say, sometimes you think that, if, you know, even with voting, they mm -hmm. talk about they talk about exercise. You're right. An exercise, man, simply means to use. Mm -mm -mm. And if we don't exercise the word. You know what I'm saying? You got we got to exercise the word, but we got to basically put it out there. I like bearing the, our talents by not using it. Bearing them, bro. I like what the words say that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And a lot of things that you know we got to we got to speak it and we got to say it. Man, one thing that that uh man, this revelation that I got and you know we always chop it up, man. I had asked this question one time wisdom I said um uh, you know, when a pastor marries somebody or a minister marries somebody, he said, by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. So I was saying to myself, I say, well, well, give him the power just because he said it, you know, but he mm -hmm. said by the power invested in me. And I look at anything, man, when you look at the Holy Spirit is being a deposit. Anything that's invested in mm. any investment, you expecting a return. And that's mm -hmm. the, the revelation I got with that man. It's like God is invested and he's expecting a return. You know, and so with, when we talk about being social, communication, man, because even in, in our, our personal situation sometimes, effective communication and, and actually socializing sometimes you know that's a problem you know sometimes with me you know i'm talking about okay real talk as men sometimes men not, are not as talkative mm. as you know their their, their 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 other part a lot of times so it may ask you a question man how was your day it was straight you know mm -hmm. and and then they may go into detail about their day but I, I had something, man, uh, with the uh, socializing because and something that I saw when I was at a uh, retreat at Bethany uh, and concerning men, because you talked about that earlier. And that's a that's a big factor with a lot of things right now, too, man, is because also with the socializing is also in a, uh, I think there's a, a agenda toward men. You know what I'm talking about? It's an attack on me. I own the family. I would say that, but I just, like we said, if we don't control the narrative, right. we become a victim of the narrative. Uh. Like I said, what does it mean to be a man? Who said being a man means not talking and being close up? Who defined that? Who created that definition? Man, come on. I know what I know what the world definition is, <laughs> but I know what his definition is. Come on. And his definition is not lining up with the popular cultural definition that everybody's I know what God says a man is. Mm -hmm. And he does not say a man is closed up, quiet. Come on. No, it, it's not that's not God's definition. We need to go back and be like Jesus and say, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but it is written. Mm. This is what it means to be a man. It is written. This is what it means to be mm. a woman. Who mm. said being a woman, you have to be prov provocative and, and mm. expose a lot? Mm. Who, who, who's, who? We're hearing a lot of narrative and we're hearing a lot mm. of definition and we're just accepting it because everybody mm. accepts that as the norm. But when the wow. norm... Wow. It's not in line with the real normal, which is the word of God. We need to question that and we need to challenge that. If we don't challenge the narrative and control mm. the narrative, we become enslaved to the narrative. And it's very, very dangerous because 
Words are so powerful mm. that it will begin to brainwash you. Wow. wow. Hitler was able to commit all kinds of atrocities by taking over the media, taking over the communication to the point where he could brainwash an entire nation. Wow. We need to watch and we need to question who's in control of that media, who's in control of that narrative, who is telling you all this, mm. and is it in line with the word of God? That's good. Instead man. of just accepting it and believing, well, this is what everybody else says. Like right now, what does it mean to be a man? You got to be a tug. You got to be hard. You got to be this. You got to be that. <laughs> who said that? Who, who, who really came up? That's not what the word of God says it means to be a man. Right. Hey, man. Say. Hey, bro. That's real talk. I like that. Hey, hey man. That's real talk, man. I say. Hey, bro. This, this, this something I, I thought about. I said, you know, I was talking about concerning the word that was an original version, but you got so many trans, mm. so many translations. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, and, mm. and so when you look at man, there was an original version of man. So a revelation I got from that was that when the original version was translated from, by the enemy and tricked. The original version became perversion. Mm, ooh, and we got a lot of that going on out here. Yeah, it, it became perversion. And I man, I was I was talking about something because there was there was this this men's conference that I um I wrote down uh the vision for that uh, uh a couple years ago when men pray. And so mm. I just saw this sea of men together, man, praying. Being to you know and and seeking the power, manpower, real manpower that comes from the source. And mm. man, I had all of these topics, but I was led to go to the to find definitions of words. I, I went to the dictionary and I found all of these words, and I know words come, you know, definitions or whatever, but I found all of these words with man in the beginning. Because in the beginning, God created man. But I found all these definitions like, for instance, I had a, a man at arms. And the definitions mm. line up. A man at arms is a soldier. A mandate. Mm. It's an order or a command. You have mandatory. It's commanded. Uh, a maneuver. It's a, a planned movement. Or skillful plan, you know, and I and it got other words like manicure, take care of, manifest, hmm. manifestation, manifold. You know, you got manipulate, mankind, manner, and man. The definition for manner was a much needed thing that is unexpectedly supplied. And so I w it was just crazy that I found all of these words with man in the beginning of the word. And, uh, you know, bro, it's like, you know, we, man, Apostle White told me this one time, bro. He said, man, who told you that red means stop? Who told you that green means go? <laughs> and I had to think about That's what we really need to do. We need to start questioning the narrative. Questioning instead of just accepting it. Come on, man. Come on. That's good. That's good stuff, bro. Because you know what? I, I realize also you have an author of confusion. Mm. And you have an author and a finisher of our faith. Mm. Ooh, so we got two authors. Which book are you reading? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Which book are you reading? Right, because he's trying to rewrite something that's already written. And so it's no co-author. You know, you you can't rewrite, rewrite, try to rewrite something that God already said, man. When you think about the commandments, man, it was etched in stone. You know? So it's it's official and, and so that's real talk, man. And so but it's it's so many Let's ways. Let's look at why he's trying to do that though. 
He's trying to do that because he said, I will ascend the hill. He wants to be God. Wow. And he realized, I can't be God. So I, I mean, it's like you, he's trying to copycat and try his best to beat somebody that he can't beat. Mm, mm, mm. And every time he tries to copy it, it's nothing like the original. That, that's all he can do. All he mm. could do is try his best to imitate. Imitate. But he can never duplicate. Wow. 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 And and wow, bro. That's I'm I'm like, man, I'm lost for words on that, man, because that's that's real talk. And this is this is this is what this platform, man, is all about, man. Because you know, a lot of times, man, you know, we look at uh as far as socializing. You know, as far as we get in gatherings and groups and, you know, a lot of times, man, you you not really socializing. Because you never get a chance to to talk. Mm. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, and so it's almost like. If you never get a chance to, to talk, you 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 don't. You know, it's not really socializing. It's somebody talking to you. But it's, I, I got an understanding of some things because there's this outreach uh, that I plan on doing. Uh, ben had this idea for years. It's called a feedback. And the idea was, man, you know, just to take ideas from what we did in the community. I call it a community uh, or neighborhood. Uh, because when we didn't have nothing to do, we all got together. We put our money together. We went and got something to eat. We went and got something to drink. We cooked. We barbecued. We did whatever. So the feedback is like, man, let's everybody get your pot, get your, mm -hmm. you know, get your grill, whatever. Let's cook. We're going to feed the community, but we also going to get feedback from the community mm -hmm. to, to hear about the issues and the things that's going on and to find solutions for it. Because, man, this is what I don't want to do. Um, was is all just do stuff for show you know just to say mm. that i'm out here doing it to take a picture and to snap a picture to be uh or to say uh a photo op <laughs> you there's know a lot of there's a lot of that going on yeah, so, yeah. sometimes sometimes i'm very quiet because as i said if we're not going to talk real then i'm not going to talk at all come on man Man, Say do man. we really want to tackle the real issues, talk about the real issues, and challenge the elephants in the closets? Do we want to really sit down, grade ourselves, mm. and review our report card? Mm. Mm. Look at all the, if we were to grade ourselves in media, what would be our grade? A, B, C, D, E, F. For every one song we put out, how many songs do they put out? Mm. And you know what's so funny? It's mm. so funny is because there's no unity in the community. We busy competing with each other wow. instead of competing against the other team. Wow. We comparing ourselves to each other instead of comparing ourselves to who we're supposed to compare ourselves. You see what I mean? Yeah. It's like we're a football team and we comp we don't have any basis to really compare our numbers against everybody else. We're too busy comparing ourselves to the people that's right next to it. That's Man. right next to us. Man. If we were to compare ourselves against the enemy and look at the real report card, it's embarrassing. Yeah, bro. It's yeah. so embarrassing, we don't want to look at it. Have you ever had that when you had a bad grade in your report card and you didn't want to show mommy and daddy your report card? You want to hide it in your book sack, throw it away, or do something with it? Right. Because it was so bad. Right. But until you look at it and you actually challenge it and come up with a plan to stop it, things ain't going to get better. Man. Same in media, man. we're failing. Music, we're failing. Movies, we got a couple movies that came out, but if we compare the numbers and we compare the percentages, we're failing woefully. 
in just about every area of our society, culture, and community. We're failing. In business, we're failing. Wow. I don't want to sugarcoat it. We've had more than enough sugarcoating. We've had, we've had too many feel-good sermons. Hmm. We huh. need some real talk. Real talk, man. And you know what I, I was saying earlier? I was thinking about this earlier. Man, you can be speaking the truth and living a lie. Mm. You know, you got, you got, you know, the word, man, it's a double-edged sword, man. And, mm-hmm. and, and if you're not, you know, you're not skilled like you're supposed to, man, you end up hurting somebody. You're going to cut yourself. And yourself. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is this, man. You know, I look at a lot that's been going on. I know there are... I commend all of the, the, the people, the ministers and the ministries that are out there in the field doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because there are some that are out there, man, hands on, you know, mm-hmm. and they're and they not worried about that, that recognition of being seen doing it because they doing it. You know, I and salute I'm, them. I commend them. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are a few. Yeah. yeah I don't, I don't want to make it look like we're offering. We got a couple ones and twos out there. Yeah. They they hitting the home runs. Yeah, in their own little network, in their own little community. Yeah, yeah. But overall, collectively, collectively, there's division, hmm. and we're failing. Yeah, yeah. And 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 what 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 would what you think you think would be the solution, man, uh, to us being a unified front? You know, because man, I know that there's strength in numbers. That's this uh this thing that we have right now called One Mind Inc. Where that we're getting together. I talked to you about it a little bit, man, where it's um it is it's exemplifying unity. It's uh it's all of us striving together for uh the the faith of the gospel. You know what I'm saying? Because man, Wiz, it's like this with me, man. Like some people they be like, man, I'm contemporary or, or, or I'm inspirational. But I just said to myself, I just keep it like that, man. I'm going to be full gospel. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if I'm not, if it's not full gospel, I don't care that if nobody don't like it or you want me to try to adjust or or, or fix it to, to meet your satisfaction. I don't care about that. I'm not finna do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's a certain such thing as sold out, you know? And so when it comes to, I'm talking about me as far as the music ministering or whatever, it's, it got to be full, man. It's, if it's not the word, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I can say stuff to try to relate to what's what's going on and things that's happening in yeah, the world. Yeah, trying to water it down. Yeah, and try to be political. It just don't taste the same if you water it down. It don't, bro. You got to have a seed. Man, that's why the word say we the salt of the earth. Man, mm, mm, mm. we gotta be, we gotta get a little salty, man. If you put too much salt, <laughs> you put too much salt in anything, all you gonna taste is salt. Man, salt you got an attitude, <laughs> <laughs> and he don't care what's in that dish. He here to take over. <laughs> hey, bro, that's the, that, that's the real talk. That's the word that says we are the salt of the earth. The salt of the earth, bro. And I look at some of the comparisons that that God used it to uh, illustrations to uh, you know to compare us with and man like you say it's a dominant ingredient it's dominant and that's the one thing that you know dominion that's a that's another word man you know because when it comes to socializing even with talking i think what's what, what's been happening bro we've been allowing the world to dominate the conversation <laughs> he don't, he didn't, that's a home run right there. Go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> See, that, that, that's why we need real talk. Yeah, yeah. That is exactly why, because if you yeah. don't know what the problem is, how can you fix it? Wow. Wow. We're fighting. I commend us. We are really fighting hard. Mm. But we're fighting the wrong battle. Come on. All that energy in the wrong direction. Mm-hmm. We're not prioritizing 
where we need to focus on first. Some of what you just said right there mm. is the it's one of the biggest roots of all of our problems. Mm. Mm. Repeat it one more time for those who didn't hear it. It's yeah. that important. Yeah. We allowing we allowing the world to dominate the conversation. Socializing. You know what I'm saying? And so, and we believe in whatever they tell us. Whatever they tell, we're us. not even questioning it. Mm. We, I, no matter how great you get spiritually, you will not be able to stop the enemy from talking. Right. It ain't stop. Talking. But you could choose to accept or deny mm. what he says. Mm. You could tell him it is written. Shut up. Get behind me. I ain't mm. hearing it. I'm not buying it. A salesman can try to sell you, but he can't force it on you. Wow. You choose to accept it or deny it. And quite frankly, lately, uh, we've been accepting a lot of nonsense, uh, a lot of slop. Wow. Hey, He's bro. been selling us a lot of slop, and we've been eating it up. Eating slop. Man. Say, bro, real talk is like, you know, when I when I when you're in a conversation, like I say, we're dominating the conversation. When you're in a conversation with a rich person, they kind of, you know, it's a way that they talk that just make you like everything you saying don't mean nothing. Like you know, it just make like because I'm at a place that you're trying to get to, so. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm here, you there. Like we're talking about the upper class socializing with the, the lower class. But the word of God said, this 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 is a quote that I wrote. You may be rich, but I'm enriched with all spiritual blessings. And so if you don't if you can't see yourself as being rich in what God has given you, if you talk like a poor man. You're gonna talk like a poor man. You got, we got to come on. Sorry, man. Sometimes in communication, it's all about your self perception, also. Wow. The lion talks like a lion, and everybody hears him. Mm. He yeah. sees himself as being strong. Mm. Wow. So when he roars, every animal bows. <laughs> right. Because right. he believes he's the king of the jungle. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And, and we I, don't know who we are, so we just talk like we're going to become whoever they tell us we are because we don't know who we are. Wow. That's good, man. Dr. Dr. Miles Monroe said it said it best, bro. That's my dude, man. I, <laughs> he man, deep. He deep. He said, yeah. talk about the lion and the elephant. He said, as big as the elephant is, he could crush the lion with one blow. But he sees himself as lunch. Mm. And the lion sees him as lunch. Even though he's not the biggest in the jungle, but it's his attitude. It's the way that he looks at the whole situation. Yeah, he said, I'm looking at this. You lunch. And as big as this elephant is, he's thinking small. Mm. And so, so, man, there are some giants in the land, man. Ooh, we have a lot of them. There are a lot of giants in the land, man. And so it's all about how we look at ourselves and how we perceive ourselves as far as approaching it. You know what I'm saying? We, you was talking about uh, we was talking about David and Goliath, you know, uh, in an earlier conversation. Man, for him to look at a giant and to, say, and to be bold enough to say all of this stuff that he was saying and to go out there, that's, that's boldness, man. You know, and so... But when you look at it, the world is bold. Oh, real bold. They're getting bolder and bolder. Bolder, A lot man. of stuff coming out the closet. It's coming out the closet, man, and it's making you seem like the bad guy. If you, if you <laughs> say... They're coming out the closet, and they're putting us in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> and, something. and, bro, and, if you, and it's almost like if you address it, or you say something, now you the bad guy. 
It's like they're trying to make us weaker. Mm. That's good. That's good stuff, bro. And we're supposed to be strong. Strong. But they feminizing or adding a feminine, which is a Jezebel spirit, mm. upon us and what we're supposed to be doing. Now, if we flex our muscle, we're the bad guy. Mm-hmm. Mm. One thing I, one thing you said that I that really stuck to me. You see, if we want to really talk about socializing and talking, talking does not begin when your mouth begins to move. It begins in your mind. Come on, man. Your mindset dictates how you socialize. Wow. I'll say it again. Your mindset dictates how you socialize. Hmm. That's good. David could talk to Goliath like that because he knew who he, who he was up here. Hmm. He had a different mindset. Hmm. Hmm. That's good. But that also reveals another very dangerous thing about words. One of the greatest weapons in the U.S. arsenal is not our nuclear weapons. Hmm. Come on. It's our talk. We, by controlling the airways, by controlling the communication, words have the power to control the mind. Wow. That's why it's even more dangerous than a gun. A man with the right set of words is more dangerous than a man with an AK-47. The <laughs> AK-47 can kill the body, but it cannot touch the mind. Come on, man. Ooh. Wow. I guess that commercial is true, bro, where they say the mind is a terrible thing to wear. That's why we should be more guarded against what we hear. Mm. Mm. But we underestimate it and because we underestimate it, it sneaks up on us. And before we know it, slowly but surely, things begin to change. Mm. I like to add a scripture because I love scripture. I, I, yes, I don't sir. leave apart from it. Yes, Colossians sir. 3 verse 2. Mm. Set your affection or set your mind on things that are above, not on things on the earth. Come on, set man. your mind on real talk. And mm. get it out the gutter. Keep it away from that fake talk. Come on. Because if you keep listening to that fake talk, eventually that fake talk is going to control your mind. Wow. Wow. Say, bro. Man, that is it in a nutshell. And, man, I just thank you, bro, for coming on. And uh, say, bro, this, 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 was, this was good. This was one of the best by far, man. And it's going to be many more to come. Cause um, this is much needed. It's much needed right now, man. Real talk. It's, it's gonna be on even bigger platforms. You know what I'm saying, man? And uh, because we got a lot of work to do, man. And, we uh, do. We got a lot of work, and uh, this is this is just the beginning. And I don't despise the day of small beginnings on anything. So, man, this is real talk. This is my this is my dude, man. Wisdom at a kingdom, man. I'm so. I'm honored, man, to have you on here. And what we do, man, you know how we get down. This real talk, we done had real talk. And, man, you know, we're about to, to wind it down, wrap it up. But we can't leave here without getting some prayer in. Because in this this hour of of, of time and, and, and this this dispensation of time man it's much needed and sometimes we can go on with our day man real talk and we just go and we go and we go and we go and we move and sometimes we we just need to take that time man to to wind down or to sit down and just man just see god you know what i'm saying so man this this was awesome bro real talk man if you don't mind man i'm gonna uh I'm going to get some, get us some music on here, man. And at the same time, you know, we, we can get into, uh, get into some prayer before we get out of here because all uh, the listeners, I'm just excited that 
we had all of this information on here today, man, because um, socializing, uh, dominating the conversation. Uh, we can't be hush hush. You know what I'm saying, and 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 just just shut up and just in agreement, and you know, and a lot of man, a lot of times, bro, we we in agreement. This guy was all uh, this. I I say this all the time about this CD that I I was listening to called Slaying the Lust Dragon, but it deals with this too. He said that uh, what happened was you made a pact with lust, and you saying that with lust you made this agreement, meaning that if you don't tell on me, I won't tell on you. So you made lust your friend when mm -hmm. he said, but guess what? God don't deliver you from your friends. He deliver you from your enemies. So until you mm -hmm. make that thing your enemy, you can't truly be delivered from it. So mm -hmm. I, I, a lot of stuff, bro, you know, we we befriended a lot of things in the world. You know, we made Knowingly it Knowingly and unknowingly, consciously and subconsciously. Exactly. And made it our friend. And so until we make that an enemy or we see it as an enemy, we know who's the deliverer, you know, who, mm. who, can, who can deliver us from that, you know. And so, man, I just thought that that little nugget right there was so key, bro. It was a, it was a good thing, man. And, Brent, I appreciate your, your input on everything, all of the wisdom that you gave. And, man, it's just it's, it's ironic that your name is wisdom because you gave us so much <laughs> wisdom all here today, man. And it was God just, has a sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. the funniest person out there. People just don't know it. Yeah, really, bro, to really? be honest. Because when I look at it, man, uh, uh, the street that I'm originally from, and I was doing all this other rap and secular stuff, the street that I'm originally from is called Church Street. And I'm like, hmm. and I went back and looked, I'm like, man, I'm off of Church Street. <laughs> 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 and I just thought that that was just funny to me, you know. I'm like, man, that's all my. I never looked at it like that. So divine, uh, divine GPS, he knew where to place you. He knew where to place me, man, on Church Street. So, uh, man, we gonna get into some uh, some prayer, man. If you wanna uh, crank it off, you can crank it off, or however, man, you know. I crank it off. I like to um, also say that prayer is the real, real talk. All the talk is fake talk Come without prayer. Come man. That's it right there. Because you're talking to the master. That's it, man. <laughs> man. All of, I mean, all of talk is, is, is a waste of time oh, man. if you don't talk to the master first. Man, come on, man. But you, you, you said, what's the solution? The solution is we need to pray. If my people will come together and pray, we need a real talk yeah. with the person we need a real talk with. Come on, man. Step one. Step two, we need a real talk with each other. We need to be real. Let's let's tackle some of these elephants in our closet. Let's look at it. Mm -hmm. Let's study our enemy. Let's right. study what's attacking and what's really hurting us. Right. Wow. When you pray to the master, we need to listen. Mm. And then we need to obey. Obey. Sometimes it's not even worth making a move until you hear what he has to say. Wow. And he's not going to say anything until you're serious and you're praying and you're trying to talk to him. God talks to those who talk to him. Mm. If you ain't trying to talk to him, it's no wonder you don't know what is written because you're not trying to talk to him. Those who talk to him, hear from him a lot more than those who don't have time to talk to him. Wow. Jesus could always reply back, it is written, mm. because he was always real talking with the Father, 24-7, every second of the day. Before he heard what anybody else got to say, he wanted to hear what he had to say. Mm. So, dear Lord, Father, Lord, thank you, Lord. We desire to talk to you. Thank you, Father. Great things you have planned for us. Mm. Father, this was divine intervention. Draw us close to you. Yes. 
everything that's trying to distract us from you, Father, destroy in Jesus' name. Yes. Anoint our ears to hear from you like never before. Yes. Anoint our ears to filter out all the fake talk of the world and only tune into the real talk that comes from heaven. Yes. Father, you said in your word, you said, not me, not Carlos. Mm. You said, set your mind on things that are above. Yes, Lord. Father, the grace to set our mind on things that are above, Father, give to us in Jesus' name. Yes. The grace to only listen to what comes from your throne room, give to us in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. The grace to listen to real yes, talk and yes, only Lord. feed yes, on the manna yes, that comes from heaven yes, and not the slack yes, that is killing us and yes, eating us up. Yes, Father, give to us in Jesus' name. Yes, we have no power of our own. We look up onto the hill where our help comes from. Our help comes from you. Yes. Father, help us, O oh Lord. Stretch forth your hands, your everlasting arms. Stretch them forth right now, no matter where anybody is. Your arms that can pick us up every time we fall. You alone have the everlasting arms. No matter how long we go, your hand can still reach us. Every brother and sister that's in a low place right now, Father, stretch forth your hands and pull them up right now. Pull them up to where you want them to be. Help us to stay close to you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father God, thank you. We thank you. We thank you. I ask that you bless each and every person, Father God, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Everyone that's watching, everyone that's listening right now, Lord God. Father God, let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Strengthen yes, us, Lord. Father God, in whatever area that we may be weak in. For your word yes, says Lord. that your strength is made perfect in weakness. And we just yes, thank you Lord. for this day. We thank you for activity in our members. We thank you for us being in our right mind. We thank you for, yes, renewing, for renewing our mind. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we, we, we honor you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. In yes, Jesus' Lord. name. And we just thank you right now. In thank Jesus you, Lord. Name. Amen. Amen. Man, bro, thank you so much, man. It was a blessing having you, man. And everyone out there, man, thank you for for being here on Real Talk. Uh, it's your boy Carlos Vaughn. Man, we out. Thank y'all. We had an awesome time in here today. And so that was some good food. Yeah, yeah, man. So until next time, we out. Peace out, and may the blessings of God be with you and be upon you. We out. God bless you.